We can say what we feel Take my hand and understand man This is real, real, real Okay, what's your name? My name is Randy Mia Berman Randy, that's a beautiful oh, name. Thank Randy. you so much. What do you like doing with your free time? <laughs> well, since I recently lost my job, <laughs> go to a lot of film and theater and go to the library, start reading again, you know, children's books. I'm writing a children's book. Okay. So I do a lot of rhyming characters. I have nonsense characters and musical characters like Mr. Cadiddle who plays the fiddle and Heather Shakut who plays the flute and Benny Olum who plays the drum. <laughs> Now, there's something you really should know about me. This is a linguistic thing. I talk backwards. Do you really? I really do. It's phonetic. And That's cool. I want to give you a sentence, and you say it backwards. Okay. Like this. Say, what is your name? Name your is what? Toze Ruin Main, Main Roy Zito. <laughs> That's extraordinary. And in French? That's cool. You can just. And in French? Just in French. It's. Uh, Quel est votre nom? Non, or votre et quel lec est votre nom? Mon retour et lec. See, it's phonetic, so I don't even have to understand the language to do it. You could give me a Tahitian sentence and I could do it back. But you do speak French. I do speak French, yes. Now we're ready. My name is Randy Mia Berman. Menber Ami Diran is named my. I'm main Zanari Ima Rubnam. Nimrum Aimi Nar is a name my. Wow, that's extraordinary. <laughs> Apart from New York, yes. tell me one other town that you've lived in. One other town, Ithaca, New York. Cool. When did you live there? I lived there during college at Cornell University in the early 70s, a great, active, political, cultural, social time of our lives. That's New York living, right? <laughs> That's New York. Uh, Upstate. Freezing winters, but it was beautiful, rural, idyllic, gorgeous countryside of New York State. Apple country. <laughs> La Pomme. <laughs> when were you born? Where were you born? Where was I born? I was born right here. I'm one of the few New Yorkers who was born and raised here. There's very few of us here. I'm a rare... Well, my wife is one. <laughs> well, she knows. Yeah. Great. Uh, so, let's see. What's been the best year of your life? Oh, the best year of my life was the year I was in France, as a matter of fact. In 1972, I was in an abbey in the south of France, La Baie de Saint-Nanc. I was playing Gregorian chant. I was learning French literature. I was surrounded by lavender fields and Provence, and I, I cannot match that. <laughs> so a New Yorker wow. would like to go back to France. <laughs> what have you been doing in the city today? Um, actually, I've been job hunting. My background is in television, but I recently lost my job at NBC News, so I've been job hunting. And now I'm going to the library because I actually have a library degree. So I figure here I am. It's, it's the library. I have a library degree. Maybe I'll get a job in the library. <laughs> Remember Audrey Hepburn in Breakfast at Tiffany's? She went to the library, so I'm going to. Were you good at school? I was excellent at school, excellent student. Unfortunately, it doesn't work the same way in business. If you do well, it doesn't mean you're rewarded. <laughs> you know, intelligence doesn't necessarily play a factor in the business world in New York, you know? What's the most beautiful city in the USA? Oh, in the United States? I think New York is really the most beautiful city in the United States. It's got it all, architecture, culture, Aesthetics, language, a mixture, it's, it's just a beautiful city, it really is, I have to say that. Which is bigger, New York or San Francisco? Bigger uh, in geography, I think New York, possibly bigger in spirit, <laughs> maybe San Francisco. <laughs> oh, interesting. <laughs> in your opinion, which is the most beautiful language? Well, Italian is a magnificent language. French and Italian are a close match because French is just, that. is that true? I was just in a Brazilian restaurant and I have to say Portuguese is magnificent as well. The music, the samba, the language, it's soft, it's sh sh sh. But French, it's just, you know, it's like, oui, je t'aime. <laughs> How could you be better than that? It, <laughs> what would you do if you won $10 million? I'd buy my family, my, my parents, that is, who are magnificent people, I'd buy them 
a house on the beach, and we could all read and swim and play music, and I'd, I'd open up a children's theater, and I'd have lots of kids around, and, and I would just give away a lot of money. I would just do all the good things for all the people who really deserve it because there's such an equity in this society. You know, you've got millionaires and you've got people living on the streets and it's just an impossibly irrational, crazy world. It's just impossible to fathom. So I would, I would have some water. I'd give some music and water to myself and my family and I would give a lot of it away. Cool. What do you hope to achieve before you die? I would like to spread some comedy I do some comedy. I would like to give people the spirit of humor so that they can just not live so seriously and so stressfully. This is an amazingly stressful city. Nobody relaxes, especially the women. They just, you know, they're so tense and they're so tight. I would just like to give some people the sense of humor, the sense of joy, and the sense of music and enjoying their lives. It's too short to just be so serious all the time, you know? What are you going to do tonight? Tonight, I am um, meeting a friend who's arranging a musical on Broadway who lives in Los Angeles and I haven't seen in many years, and we have that same synchronicity, and we're going to just, you know, have a nice meal and talk and exchange stories and the joys and the sufferings of life and, you know, have some simpatico <laughs> conversation, talk about France, maybe, you know. Thank you so much for stopping.